So tonight live at five, here's what it looked like after an attempted smash and grab armed robbery in downtown Palm Springs yesterday. The suspects are all still at large tonight. We brought you live breaking news coverage as it was being investigated. Well, tonight some local businesses are on high alert and as News Channel 3's Marion Bouchot reports, the Palm Springs police chief is speaking out and sharing how he plans to put a stop to these types of crimes. It's scenes like this that have sadly become much more common. It's a trend that we see happening statewide. Palm Springs Police Chief Andy Mills says the department has applied for a state grant that would support them in responding and preventing organized retail theft. Why is this trend happening? Well, I think there's a variety of reasons. One is that um, the laws were changed to uh, to lower the penalty for these kinds of offenses. And so it's hard to prosecute people. It's hard to keep them in jail. The department applied to receive about $4.5 million in funding. If we are able to get it, we'll be able to help some of the businesses uh, protect their stores better and allow us the opportunity to maybe put in technology that allows us to catch people easier. The grant would help provide security technology like advanced cameras and safety film, which keeps broken windows from shattering. Some business owners are on high alert after Tuesday's robbery attempt in Palm Springs, like Gordon Knott, who owns a music box and clock shop. It's, it's uh, sad to hear because it's happening more and more. A couple months ago, his shop was broken into. He says he applied for a carry permit for a gun. We have a stun gun and I'm going to get the pistol. But um, the cameras that I have in here catch everything outside and inside, so they work really well. In the meantime, Palm Springs Police says it's committed to helping local businesses. And we'd be more than happy to sit down with any business owner who's concerned and, and we can you know, help educate them on what they can do environmentally to protect themselves. In Palm Springs, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3.